Hey everybody, welcome to this uh, shortwave channel. And uh, this is tip number 30, I believe. And of course, the tip today is, should I go SDR, software defined receiver, or <clears throat> should I simply be good old analog or, you know, use a regular radio with buttons? Um, what are the advantage? The, uh, what is the bad side of all of this? Well, first of all, it all depends on you. I always say that the first thing you should look at when you are thinking SDR or if you're thinking regular good old radio, uh, portable radio, tabletop and so on, is your technical knowledge. If you're not good with computers, an SDR is something that requires a minimum amount of knowledge for the install, installing the software. Of course, then you need a computer or a tablet and maybe you don't have what it requires. So that already is the first step. Are you good enough with computers? Are you, and when I say good enough, you don't need to be an expert, but you need to know your way around a little bit on computers in order to have a SDR install. Uh, it's not that it's difficult, but it's, you know, if you can install regular software that you need every day for different tasks, you're probably okay with an SDR. Uh, if you always ask for somebody else to install stuff, maybe an SDR is not the best thing for you. That's the first thing you need to know. The second thing is if you want to have freedom, if you want to go outside, bring your radio along, of course, you're already answering. I want to have a portable probably because I'll be moving around. I'll be going different places with my radio. Portable, regular portable radio might be the thing. Yes, you can be portable with an SDR. It's a little more complicated. You might need a tablet, PC, or at least a laptop. And uh, what else do you have to think? SDR or uh, regular radio? Well, the other thing is... Um, Remember that a software-defined receiver will always be a tip to a computer or a tablet. It doesn't work on its own, so it needs that to actually work uh, because the controls are on your computer screen. They're on your PC. Um, what advantage does an SDR have? Flexibility. The visual of the waterfall seeing the little spikes of all the signals. You could see a wide range of spectrum this is actually very cool and I don't know how many signals that I would have missed if I didn't have that capability. Flexibility and its controls. There's so many controls that you can actually tweak within an SDR that are much more in, you know, on, on regular radios it's, it's fixed values. On an SDR you can often tweak to a, almost any value you want in different types of, um, of of listening experience. An analog radio might not have all of that, but it or a regular radio, because I'm talking analog, but a regular radio with like for example the FD450 transceiver here uh, doesn't have that, but it also is a great radio and is very flexible also. If you don't want to have and be attached to a computer all the time, well you're better off with regular radio, that's for sure. Remember that in some cases, a software-defined receiver might get more interference from your devices, from your computer, than a regular radio will have, for example. Um, of course, if you like computers, don't like computer screens, watching a computer screen all the time, that's another thing to think about. Maybe a regular radio is better. If you are kind of liking the SDR-like features of an SDR, but are thinking of some kind of tabletop receivers. Remember that they cost a lot, they're very expensive, but there are some, um, out there there are some receivers, like for example the ICOM ICR8600, that actually have, and they are software-defined receivers, but they're in the box with controls, so they feel like a regular radio. And those can actually have a spectrum display and a waterfall to see signals everywhere. They, um, but they look more like an analog radio. If you want to have simplicity of use, 
good old radio, you know, uh, depending on what you like. It could be a good old analog from, you know, the 70s or the 80s that still works well. A good old tabletop model from the 70s, 80s, 90s that works well. Um, you know, in general, these devices, of course, the more you pay, the more complex they get. But it's, in general, easier to use a regular good old type radio portable desktop than a software defined receiver um, so you know there are advantages there are uh, other sites that might not be as uh, advantage uh, price point you know a, a good SDR pretty much starts above a hundred dollars like the RSP 1A that I have here that's on this laptop now it's you know like a hundred and ten hundred and twenty dollars uh, where you can have a um, you know next age data for less than a hundred or even the Radiwild R108 that I have here for fifty sixty dollars or Texan PL380 that's a great radio portable radio for fifty sixty dollars not too expensive for something that is surprisingly interesting and you'll get a very portable item that you can go around with so you know it all depends on your technical knowledge how much how good you are with computers do you want to use a computer or not when tuning around signals all of this got taken into account and it actually brings pretty much two camps people that like good old radios and that's it they're that's what they want they want to have a, you know an, a Yesu like this or an icom 8500 or a portable like the hhsh data or the Texan PL 660 680 and that's what they want and that's what they like and there's the other gang that loves SDRs where am I I'm somewhere in the middle because I gotta say since I've used the RSP 1A I'm 80% of the time on the SDR but I still feel and have fun tuning a good old radio and yeah, the feel of having a radio and all the buttons and everything the display and so on it's also quite cool and that also will answer a question do you want to want to be modern and, and and you know stuck with a computer or a tablet and, and run these things if that's what you want because of the flexibility and the visibility of the signals and everything that you're, you're answering your question of you know I want to answer the R if you are um, you know if you don't want to be in front of a computer you don't like computers uh, and you're not that fond of new technologies you like good old radios then you answer your question get yourself a portable or a, a desktop or you know you can go into the uh, used market for a desktop and so um, you know things like that could be uh, uh, interesting also so whatever you choose you'll be choosing okay it's really a question of what you like and what you don't like uh, when you come to a radio or a software defined receiver. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and uh, have fun choosing that new radio.